steady now. Trickstar was one of those games which falls into the overlooked category, barely making an impact despite releasing close to the Dreamcast launch and capitalising on the extreme sports craze of the time. But it would prove noteworthy for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it was Criterion Games' debut console release, after making waves with several PC titles. Secondly, despite dividing critics at the time, Trick Style is an enjoyable take on the racing genre, with its fast-paced hoverboarding action. While it wouldn't prove the flashiest showcase of Sega's newest console, and could have done with a bit more longevity, the adrenaline pump in racing more than picks up the slack. Trick Style mixes racing, tricking, and defensive mechanics into its hoverboard action. Players can select one of nine characters, each representing a home country and also specialising in certain fields. Racers gain a speed advantage, bullies can knock around the other borders, and stunt chaps specialise in tricks. The stat differences feel substantial, requiring experimentation to find your perfect playing style. There are also occasional trick events, which break up the standard action rather well. As you race, you can also perform tricks, which reward points, more of which can be unlocked by completing challenges. Some of these give you a great advantage, such as spins which extend your airtime. It somewhat resembles snowboarding games like SSX, but with enough wrinkles and proficiency, it stands apart from those titles. The good news is that controlling Trickstyle's hoverboards feels incredibly smooth, as while the floaty steering will take some getting used to, it feels natural once you grasp it. Whether it's performing dangerous jumps, smashing through hazards, or using speed luge to gain a quick boost, players should pick up on it quickly. The only sore spot when it comes to controls is magna rails, which sometimes boil down to luck as whether you'll attach to them. There are a few other quibbles too, including the AI, which often fails to put up much of a fight. While later races can see them banding back to overtake you, earlier races see you breezing past the competition. With a lack of difficulty options, you're forced to stick with this relative ease, and though bailing mostly sees you getting up quickly, some events come with brutal instant fail hazards, which can border on tedious. The main crux of the game takes place across the UK, USA and Japan. Divided into 20 events, each track feels like a downhill slalom, which mixes sharp turns, hazards such as oncoming traffic and risky gaps. The track design is generally fantastic, showcasing clever shortcuts and natural flow. The only shame is how brief events last, with most races running under the two minute mark. This makes trick style quite short, though most will likely hit a wall with the final and gruelling race. There is also a selection of challenges available, which test your skills, which come in handy during races. But these aren't enough to help trick style just barely escape the 10 hour region. A two player mode is present too, which provides a good deal of fun. It's just a shame the game lacks any difficulty options, some alternate tracks, and a few more modes. Trickstyle earns a lot of points for its aesthetics, but less so for technical prowess. The game was clearly an early Dreamcast title with characters and environments looking a touch blocky and lacking fluid animations, paling next to some of the titles which would come not long after. But the semi-futuristic setting, which includes a post-apocalyptic vision of London, a tropical spin on New York, 
and the floating city of Japan above sea stand out as distinctive race settings, although they contrast with some very 90s character designs. The sound is good all around, with the best part being a composed soundtrack from Curtis Mantronic, which contains very catchy beats. The sound clips from the cast of races are cool at first, but become a touch repetitive as you play, while the whooshing of the air, painful bales, and environmental effects are good too. In the end, Trickstyle is a distinctive, enjoyable racer that just suffers from being slightly anemic. The racing is really good, mixing a fast pace with excellent track design. The sensation of riding a hoverboard feels spot on, taking some getting used to, but feeling natural very quickly. But while it plays decently, the races feel so quick, and the lack of challenge means most could breeze through the game very quickly. Though extra challenges and the two player modes add a little more time, you still can't help but want more. Nonetheless, Dreamcast owners and extreme sports fans should find Trickstyle a solid addition to their collection. Yeah.